Don't put me on the camera. Get out of here. All right, we're trying to find somebody. He pushed me. What's his right. problem? Why did that guy assault me? I have no idea. Why my didn't back, you arrest him? My back was turned. I have no idea what it transpired before that. I broke it up. Get that, on, get that on tape. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by a viewer named Chris and involves the Anaheim Police Department. The camera work is jittery, but if you've ever felt adrenaline, you'll understand the stability issues as the story pans out, as it illustrates what can happen when you film the police without even saying a word. October 7th, 2021. Chris noticed plainclothes officers had pulled over a vehicle outside his window, the reason why has not been established. Shortly after, marked and uniformed officers arrive on scene, and Chris moves to the area outside his complex to film. The bald and bearded man in red appears to be a plainclothes officer, as his radio and badge lanyard are in plain view. As Chris films the scene from his own property, the red coat officer takes notice of him. Moments later, he attacks Chris, pushing him to the ground, saying, don't put me on the expletive camera, get out of here. Don't put me on the fucking camera. Get out of here. Don't put me on the fucking camera. Get out of here. This is the frame just before Chris is shoved. These two officers are just a few feet away. Even if they deny literally seeing the attack, there is no denying that it happened. The sergeant on scene breaks it up, and once the video resumes, none of the other officers say anything. All right, we're trying to find somebody. He fucking pushed me. What's his right, problem? Instead of addressing the officer's behavior towards a member of the public that has done nothing but a constitutionally protected activity, this man, also presumed to be an undercover, berates Chris and tries to intimidate him. In a moment, he will claim to be the victim and reporter of this incident. But in this frame, it appears that a badge lanyard is hidden beneath his shirt. And here, and here it appears in his neck fold and is identical to the other officers on scene. In this frame, there appears to be a radio. In these frames, there appears to be a concealed weapon. He takes a picture of Chris and is later referred to by his first name by another officer. Chris, keep his finger you. Yes, you want a picture of him? Yes. Who asks about the pictures he took. How you doing?
The reason I don't like you is because I'm a victim of a crime and what you're doing is you're violating my personal business. And I'm trying to figure out why. Is the story about the police more important than me? Or is that just the way you are? It's fucking rude. You know that, right? What's that? If you called the police, would you want me showing up with a camera, putting it in your face, and making sure you see everything that's going on? I don't really want my face on camera when I'm a victim of a crime. You know why I'm talking to you like this? Because you think I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. I'm the one who called the police on these assholes because they tried to kill me in Garden Grove. So mind your own business. I haven't said anything yet. You're fucking annoying with that. It's my personal business. My property. At this point, one plainclothes officer has battered Chris for filming. Another alleged officer has tried mercilessly to intimidate him while claiming to be a victim. If this man is an officer, he is a coward, unworthy of serving the public. It is likely that the fugitive they are seeking is dangerous, but it is obvious that Chris is not. Chris was merely exercising his First Amendment right to film matters of public interest. The actions we have witnessed are intolerable and unbecoming of an officer. Worse yet, they are egregious violations of the oath they took to uphold the Constitution. This incident has betrayed the integrity of the department and diminishes the public's trust. No ethical standards were observed here, and the community they serve is ashamed of their actions. Chris continues to film the scene, and eventually a sergeant and another officer approach him. Hi, sir. What's your name? Uh, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm Sergeant Cummings. I'm just here to talk to you about what happened. If you don't want to talk to me, that's fine. I don't want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to me? No. Okay. You need any questions for us that we can answer for you? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, I will just tell you, you can listen if you want. All right. They were looking for a wanted fugitive in this area, and that's yeah. why we showed up. Uh, they had somebody detained that was related to that person and the car, so we were searching for them. Why did that guy assault me? I have no idea. Why didn't you arrest him? My back was turned. I have no idea what it transpired before that. I broke it up. I've actually come over here to talk to you, but you don't want to talk to me. No. Okay. All right, sir. You can change You can give us a call. Thank you. Chris later attempts to file a police report with the department and was denied. He's currently seeking representation for a civil case against these officers. If you know of a good legal team in California, please comment below or email me directly. I will continue to inform you as this story pans out. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.